Hello, welcome to A Little Extra Practice. I'm Dr. Thomas Little. Today, we're working on multiplication. Looking at a multiplication problem, we have a couple names. The top number is the multiplicand. I'm going to refer to it as the top number. We have the multiplier on the bottom. The two numbers together are the factors. When we do a multiplication problem, the numbers are the factors. The answer is called the product. <laughs> Taking a look at the first problem, 67 times 31. First, I'm going to multiply the number in the ones place, which actually is a one times 67. That will be the first partial product. The second partial product will be multiplying the number in the tens place times 67. And the number in the tens place, of course, is three. One times seven is seven. One times six is six. And this is going to be the first of the partial products. Second partial product is going to be 30 times 67. Because it's 30, I'm going to put a zero in the ones place under the seven. And now I can just focus on the digit like it's a three. Three times seven is 21. Three times six is 20. The two partial products added together equal 2,077, and of course the answer is called the product. Let's continue with a couple more examples. 59 times 37. The 7 is in the ones place, so that is where I focus. 7 times 9 is 63. All right, the 3 carry the 6. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 6 is 41. Done with the 7. I'm going to cross off the 6. Now my focus shifts to the 3, which is actually a 30. So I'll put a zero down there, and now I can pretend it's just a three. Three times nine is 27. Three times five is 15, plus two, 17. So my partial product is 413, 1,770. Add these together, and my product is 2,183. Moving on, 91 times 68, look at the ones place. There's an eight in the ones place of the bottom number. Eight times one is eight. Eight times nine is 72. I didn't carry any numbers, so I don't have to cross any off, although I am going to cross this eight off. 91 times 60, I'll put the zero down already. Six times one is six. Six times nine is 54. My partial products are 728 and 5,460. Add these together. And my product is 6,188. Now it's your turn. On the next screen, pause the video, solve the problem, hit play to see how you did. 56 times 79. My first focus is on the nine in the ones place. Nine times six, is 54, right? The four carry the number in the tens or the five. Nine times five is 45, plus five is 50. I'm done with the nine. I'm also done with this five, so I'm gonna cross them both out. I'm gonna take 70 times 56 right now. So I put a zero. Seven times six is 42, right? The two carry the number in the tens. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. My partial products are 504, 3920. So I'll add those two. 4, 2, so 14, 14, carry the 1, and that becomes 4,424. So the product is 4,424. 72 times 58. My focus is on the eight or the ones place. Eight times two is 16, carry the one. Eight times seven is 56, plus one, 57. I'm done with the eight, also done with this one. 72 times 50, so I'll write a zero down here. Five times two is 10, carry the one. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36. The two partial products are 576 and 3,600. I will add these together. And the product is 4,176. 
Moving on to the last problem, 143 times 26. This is a three digit by two digit multiplication problem. As long as the two digits are on the bottom as the multiplier, the problem is not any more difficult than two by two digit. Let's solve it. Six times three is 18, carry the one. Six times four is 24, plus one is 25. Six times one, six, plus two is eight. Okay, I'm gonna cross these off so I don't accidentally reuse these. Now I'm gonna take 143 times 20. So I'll put the zero of 20 here, and I will multiply with the two in the tens. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Of course, two times one is two. My partial products are 858 plus 2,860. My final step is addition. And my product is 3,718. Let's practice a couple of word problems. Please stop the video, complete the two practice problems, and then press play and we'll see how you did. A math teacher assigns 25 problems for homework every school day, including Friday. If there are 176 days of school, how many math homework problems will be assigned during the school year? The three digit number is on top. The two digit number is on the bottom, making it much easier. First, I will take the five times 176. Five times six is 30, carry the three. Five times seven is 35, plus three is 38. Carry the three. Five times one, of course, is five, plus three is eight. Cross these off so I don't get mixed up later. Cross the five off, I'm done with that. Put a zero down here. I'm multiplying 176 times 20. Two times six is 12, carry the one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15. Carry the one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. My partial products are 880 and 3,520. I will add these together. And that, my friends, is a lot of homework problems. 4,400 math problems during the school year. Next problem. The National Soccer Team Tournament features 32 teams competing to win the gold medal. Each team has a squad of 23 players, including three goalies. How many players are there in all? There's 32 teams. Each team has a squad of 23 players. That means the three goalies are included in the number 23. So I set up the problem, 32 times 23. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. I'm done with the three. I'm multiplying 20 times 32, so I put the zero down. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. The partial products are 96 and 640. Added together, they equal 736. There's 736 players in the tournament. Thank you for joining me on a little extra practice. I will see you on the next video.